Good day everyone. Welcome back. I'm Retainer Noor. Uh, today we're going to continue working on source file. Uh, after after that last video we did, which is installing or upgrading the source file module. Uh, sorry for the bad quality. I will re-upload that video with a different quality so we can see how the steps or how we can upgrade or we the initial configuration for the source file. Now currently I have next to me it's 5506 which is the new release 5506X series which is which is replacing 5505. It has a built-in source SFR module and today we're gonna start working with that device. First I will show you certain commands how to enable the ASDM on what version of ASDM you have to have and the basic configuration that we we must all know before working there with, with the source fire again this video focuses on on how to create rules policies on the sfr module it's not on managing or configuring the asa itself but again for what to, for the version regarding the version of asdm in order to see the sfr plugins or the tabs you can see here those tabs in order to see them in the previous versions of ASDM which is 7 or 6 you will not be able even if the file will have a built-in SFR module but you have an old version of ASDM you will not able to configure it or, or to work with that module so you have to have that 7.5153 version of ASDM so it is 752-153 uh, you have to also point from the configuration to point to that new file. So show that's on it for your reference. This commands. You have to point the ASDM to that file. You have to allow the HTTP request. So either from the inside or the outside, or to specify the subnet. But since I'm working with the lab environment, I allowed all subnets. So I'll show you also this command. So you can see I am allowing everyone from the inside or the outside to have HTTP connection so they, are, they will be able to use the ASDM. Similarly, I did the same for Thermit. I allowed the inside and the outside anyone. Okay, let's start with the source files. So after we connect to the ASDM, you will see the dashboard. At the dashboard, you will see the device dashboard or the file power dashboard. You will see the current version, the IP addressing, and certain the CPUs or certain graphs which is related to that module. Now, before doing any configuration, the point is how 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 is the file how the file works. That traffic currently does not pass through the the source file, so we need. Sorry for that. So you need to redirect, we need to re redirect the traffic to that module. In another word, regarding what policies I make, they will not be inspected or the firepower will not have control on that unless we re redirect the traffic to them. I will now currently, I will delete all the rules that are there and I will go and redirect traffic to that firepower. We'll go to command line. Of now this can be done through command line or GUI from the ASDM, but it will take only four commands, four commands and will four lines I mean and everything will work perfect. So we have to create a class map. We'll call this class map, let's say fire power class map. And from the class map, we need to match what traffic you want to direct. Now, I will redirect all the traffic to my SFR. So I will match access list. I will call that access list firepower of any. And I will create an access list that matches any any. Or there is another way. I can just type match any. So it will match everything. Now, we have to go 
to policy to the global policy so it's policy map so policy global policy map global policy and from the close global policy i will point to the class map that i created recent class map is fire Now the action here are the list of actions. I have three options. Three, sorry, two options. But there is a monitor command. Okay, there is two options with fail close and fail open. As you can see as from the remark, the fail open if the firewall fails, it would allow all the traffic. And if the SFR fails, it would deny all the traffic. So I will do fail. It depends on your business requirements. Fair open. Currently, now all the traffic now are redirected to the module. Let's go to the access policies. I will now create. I will create a rule to deny. Uh, news news category so to that I will create add rule first before the before that from the configuration from the tab first the, when you when you go to the configuration it will open in the device list device setup you have to go to the ASA firepower configuration from the policies access policies access control policies so from this section we will create the rule So add rule. Let's call this rule deny news deny news. Okay. We don't have any zones. We don't have any network. So we have to choose. In this network, we have the inside or the outside. And I will put my IP address, which is this. I will add the sources my IP address. So destination any later i will do another video regarding how do we integrate with active directory so we can create rules based on username regardless than subnets or it will be combination so these tabs are the combination of zone and the network and the user and the application and so on and so forth so to the url i will deny news user media so add to the rule and I will show you also the inspection later on the IPS inspection <coughs> add okay now the default action here you can see is allow you to do it as a deny from the same tab before you doing save or you can press it again you have to block later i will explain the difference between block block and reset the reset is will re it will reinitiate another session monitor or trust or so on and the rest of the options save so store to firepower you have to go deploy deploy from the port note that it will take around one minute or two minutes for that rule to be applied the magic of video i can just pause the video and wait after two minutes I'll zoom and we can test okay and now we can let's open the browser and let's see open cnn.com and voila the website is not able now we can change that display we can put uh, custom display page this page is blocked because there's a certain policy you can put your logo company's logo whatsoever let's first check if google is working uh -huh. well, let's see if uh, let's see what yahoo.com is working so you can see all the cnn let's try another website bbc bbc.com it's news as well so all the news websites are denied 
and the rest are working fine. So to recap, it's as simple as it, as it is. We create a rule, let's edit that rule. We will select the network, the source. Now I specified my IP address, which my IP is 192.168.1.6.40. But now if you live in the environment or company, <coughs> company setup, you can specify the subnets. And you can, whatever, it depends on the deployment mode, on the customer requir requirements. And the user later on, will, I will do another video how to integrate with an Active Directory and will create a policy based on the users regard without the network and then we create a policy combine, combining the network and the user together all similarly for the application we can choose the application like Facebook LinkedIn and certain applications because as we know as we all know that Facebook now it is an application it's like a portal let's see the list of applications we have all these applications uh, ports you can also work on ports like a custom you want uh, uh, firewood and that's it hope you enjoyed the video and I will upload another videos as I, I mentioned with with different topics regarding also the source fires uh, that's it have a good day bye bye